Metamorphosis is a multi-art project in collaboration with the Royal Opera House that brings together artists, choreographers, dancers. How was born the idea of such a big event? Um, well, I've always been um, very inspired by Diaghilev, the Russian impresario, and what he did with the Ballet Russe, the way that he brought together um, great artists, uh, composers, librettists, and really revolutionised the art scene in the early 20th century. He's always been a great hero of mine, so I had always wanted to do this kind of interdisciplinary collaborative project. Um, and the Olympics was an opportunity for the National Gallery to do something a little bit different. Um, and so we suggested to the Royal Ballet that they might collaborate, and they were always very enthusiastic, so it, <laughs> it flowered from there. And why Tishan? Well, we decided to focus on Titian because um, these paintings um, came up for sale about four years ago now and we had until the end of 2012 in which to save them for uh, the UK. So we decided that whatever we did over the summer of 2012 it had to be about Titian. And, and in fact he's an artist who has inspired responses ever since um, the paintings themselves were made. Rubens has responded, Velasquez responded, Lucien Freud. Um, and so this is just another layer of responses, really. <laughs> and they're paintings which are so rich and so inventive that it's amazing the, the diversity of the responses that they have generated. <laughs> You choose three really different artists, Chris Ophili, Cora Shokros and Mark Wallinger, that created sets, costumes and new artworks for the three ballets inspired by Titian Masterpiece. What are their characteristics and how they express Titian influence? Well, it was very important to have three very different artists and, and the fact that they are is deliberate. Um, so we're very delighted to have three very different responses from them. Um, it was always very important to have a painter because Titian was a virtuoso painter who loved his medium and so we wanted to have a painter so that you really continued that legacy of, of painting. Um, and Chris Ophelia is an artist who is able to deal with narrative subjects so I always felt he would be able to respond well to this kind of um, source material. Mark Wallinger about three years ago, I saw an exhibition that Mark Wollinger curated himself, which was all about boundaries and thresholds. And he exhibited the X-ray of the death of Actium in that exhibition as an example of an object which is a threshold object in between the surface of a painting and the underneath. And I, I just thought it was such a clever and different way to look at a painting. And I wanted someone who would really make us rethink Titian almost turned Titian on its head um, and I think what he's done is it has done that he's he's made you look again which is what I, I very much wanted and for, for our third artist um, I always felt that it would be great to have an artist who had a sculptural almost architectural take on space and Conrad is an artist whose work is normally underpinned by mathematical or scientific ideas so, you know, it, it means Titian being transformed into something totally different, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> and they've all responded differently, but uh, Conrad was always curious about the goddess Diana and the way that she is both vulnerable and beautiful and seductive, but also terrifying. So his robot is Diana, and she can be both beguiling but also quite scary <laughs> um, and Mark Wallinger's piece is again all about Diana um, and it is really an encounter with a living breathing goddess so what came out a huge amount of new work which is um, pretty groundbreaking for the National Gallery to have this much new work um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal for the National Gallery, it's a big deal for the Royal Ballet because 
new work is quite risky. <laughs> but I think what's amazing to have come out from Titian is that from these three paintings, such different work has come out. Um, and I think that's testimony to Titian and to his inventiveness and to the richness of these paintings.